Hey guys, here we go into a video on perpetual motion and the pendulum step. Now, this idea is incredibly important for all fighters of all levels. Now, uh, this looks like a very, very advanced technique, uh, but I assure you the basics of this idea in transferring your weight to the front foot and to the back foot uh, are very basic ideas that should be trained by every every fighter every day. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about this. Now, in the film study here, we see that Duran has his weight on the front foot here. All these, I, these points are lining up. His weight is on the front foot. And he's controlling the space between him and Leonard with a probing jab, trying to open up space and push Leonard to the back half of his line. Now... Duran has a very active guard and is constantly moving from the front foot to the back foot on this pendulum. And what happens is as he moves forward here and pushes uh, Leonard off of his line to the back foot, he's going to open up this space. But the normal, or he's going to open up this space, but normally what happens is his next motion is going to drive him to the back foot. And that means that even though he opened up space and was able to create space here and push Leonard off of the line so that he may enter it, his next motion is going to be dragging his weight to his back foot uh, just to keep his own rhythm and his balance. Now, the idea between the pendulum step and your normal motion and your perpetual motion is that it takes that idea and instead of just transferring your weight naturally to your back foot, you're going to kind of take a step and a jump and transfer your weight to the back foot as you drag that foot forward, which allows um, Roberto Duran to continue driving his weight forward instead of going forward and then bringing his weight back here, he's, a, he's able to shoot and transfer his weight, shuffle his back foot forward uh, so that he can create more space and cross, Robert, uh, cross Leonard's line with his right hand and then continue dragging his weight forward uh, to the front foot to this position. Now, uh, we're going to take a look at another clip of him doing this here, kind of defensively, controlling the space. Again, getting on the front foot here. Very, very important idea here. Getting his weight to the front foot, controlling the space, as you see that much better line. And now, instead of Leonard being pushed off of his line and being defensive, he looks to attack that position as he knows uh, Duran is on the front foot. Now, Duran uses that same pendulum step, again, not getting pushed off of his line like Duran is doing to him, where he gets pushed back to his back foot, but he's pendulum stepping and able to slip that shot and then continue dragging his weight forward. Now, I want you to pay attention to when they get on the line. Normally, D Duran's weight is going to be from here to here. He shoots this jab, and then he brings his weight back this way. He shoots his jab, he brings his weight back this way. But by using the pendulum step and shifting and jumping off of his front foot and transferring his weight to his back foot, instead of being able to, instead of only being able to go uh, backwards after this, he's able to transfer his weight more forward. As you can see, instead of being limited to this position in the ring, he's able to get all the way over here. And allows him to, again, close the distance between his target uh, and his fists. Now, here's another clip, actually, of Bernard Hopkins doing a very similar motion defensively. Uh, in another an excellent application of this, though, uh, in spite of the fact that it's defensive. Um, both of these tactics are uh, extremely valuable and important for having a well-rounded and versatile fighter. So, we have... Bernard Hopkins taking a step on the back foot, transferring his weight. Again, not the greatest line, but it's pretty good. Really good body mechanics from Bernard. And now, as Kalzagi takes his step forward, Bernard Hopkins is going to pendulum step and transfer his weight to the front foot as Kalzagi looks to transfer his weight to the front foot as well. Now, what happens is his head doesn't move. His head stays in the same place, but his ability to transfer his weight off of the line changes because instead of going from here and then having to transfer his weight with his next motion back to the front foot, which is where Joe Calzaghe is expecting it to go, he now on that same beat can transfer his weight off of the line and away from that target, away from that zone that Calzaghe is looking to attack right now. Uh, an excellent use of 
uh, perpetual motion going backwards from Bernard Hopkins. Uh, very, very, very uh, talented fighter. Now, we're going to take a look at some drills. Now, I put these up on Patreon today. Um, I'm starting a new annual membership. I think it's like 200 bucks right now. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but it's a la it's a whole year membership. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to lower the price or not <laughs> um, or do a holiday special or something. I'll see what I can do when I'm looking into it. Um, not the greatest advertising, you know, to be talking about, oh, Michael on sale, check it out. And then, you know, if it does or it doesn't, I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, um, <laughs> uh, we're going to be taking a look at me doing this drill to kind of teach you guys the pendulum step and how to drag your weight from the front foot to the back foot or pendulum step forward or backwards. Now, again, the key motions here are getting your weight into your knee, okay? So you want to be bringing your head towards your knee and kind of doing a squat. Now, on your back foot, you're going to be kind of on the ball of your foot. It's not super important that you have a lot of weight here, though, um, because you're going to be jumping from here. You're going to be taking a jumping step from your heel, okay? This part is very important. Uh, if you try to do this on the ball of your foot, you're going to have a hard time ever learning how to do this move. So get the weight in your heel. And you're going to jump from your heel, and my head is going to stay in a very neutral position. As you see, my head doesn't really move, and then I'm going to catch myself on my heel and allow my weight to sink down into this position. Again, heel, knee, head. Very, very, very important idea for learning to transfer your weight. Now, getting back to what I was saying earlier in the video about this being a very basic drill, this is a drill that everyone should be doing every single day uh, in some form or another. Now, this is a very basic version of the drill, just learning the footwork and just learning the pattern and just getting the strength and the coordination to go from one leg to the other and go back and forth. And again, your head doesn't move. You jump up in the air and then you bring your heel underneath your head to catch your weight. Okay? Very, very, very important. Now... One of the ways that you can practice this and layer this drill with some difficulty is on the heavy bag. So we're going to take a look at me doing it on the heavy bag. Now, this is me waiting for one of the coaches outside. They saw that I was recording, so they want to always watch me. But um, I'm at the boxing club in San Diego, if you guys are curious. And uh, this coach here literally watched my whole like two-hour workout on the heavy bag or an hour and a half or whatever. He just watched me the whole time. It was so annoying. But anyway... <laughs> Getting back to the drill, what I'm saying to do here is pick a target, okay? Now, this target on average is going to be the center line, okay? Uh, but it's actually going to be your opponent's line. Now, that's generally also, in my boxing theory, it's going to be your opponent's head, okay? And what you want to do is you want to pick that target. And generally, most bad fighters wind up always fighting on the center line. Um, if your coach has you standing in a neutral position or keeping your head in a neutral position all the time and your head is always on the center line, um, you're going to have a bad time, okay? So learn to transfer your weight, change positions, cross the line, and have an active guard. A very, very, very important idea if you want to be able to make these motions work because in this, in this clip, again, Sugar Ray Leonard is expecting his weight to transfer to the back foot. And using this jab, this probing shot, he's able to disguise this pendulum step so that he can close the distance. Again, Leonard doesn't see that move coming because he's being blinded by this jab. And then he's able to take this step on that same rhythm. But to Leonard, he doesn't even realize that, his, that the lower half of his body is moving because his head is not moving. Again, a very important idea here. Even though he doesn't get his weight all the way to the back foot. He's in a fight. We're not in a fight. We're tr we're practicing and we're drilling. Um, later on, you guys can figure that out and uh, whatever, whatever, you know. But you're going to pick a target. And as your active guard, you're going to be moving your head around this target. Now, again, when you get your weight to the front foot here, your weight is going to be in the heel. One, two, three. And you're going to be crossing that target, okay? Now, some people say this is going to be the center line, but this is going to be your target your reference point and you want to be checking out you want to be controlling this point if you're punching or whatever 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 but you want to be crossing the line changing positions and transitioning your weight 
And then that's going to put you in the front foot and that be the first part of your active guard. Now, the second part of your active guard is getting to the back foot, okay? And as you transition your weight to this position, you're going to get your weight in the heel and in the knee and your head here. And your weight is now on the back foot. And you've crossed the line. You've changed positions. You've transferred your weight, okay? And that's the first step of the pendulum step is doing this in front of the bag here. Now, each time I place my foot, I'm going to be placing my foot on one side of the target or the other, okay? And again, very important that you're not just having your feet on the, on the one side of the line or not, or the center line. You want your feet on the sides of your target, okay? It has nothing to do with the center line. It's where you're looking to attack. And you want one foot on each side of the target at all times. And then you're going to turn these things into punches. As you can see, you're going to cross the line, transfer your weight, pendulum step, and then continue dragging your weight in that direction. So front foot, pendulum step to the back foot, and then crash your weight from the back foot to the front foot. Back foot, front foot, cross. Now, this one here, not this one, this one here, back foot, front foot, left hook, is exactly what Bernard Hopkins is doing here, but Bernard Hopkins is doing it at a professional level with a target. He's in a fight, and he has many more, many more rules in the ring to follow than I do when I'm hitting the heavy bat. He's got his hands up. He's in a much tighter position. His his pendulum step is much smaller. The amount of weight he's transitioning is much lighter. But what we're practicing uh, is a striking drill, and we're just pra practicing blasting all of our weight into it. Now, the next one, this one, back foot to the front foot, I think that's what Roberto Duran is doing here. Front foot, back foot, into the right hand. Now, I'm throwing mine like a hook, or rather an overhand right, and Roberto Duran is throwing his as a straight right hand, but the ideas are the same. And this very, very key uh, motion, uh, the pendulum step, is uh, essential to to being a complete fighter. Again, these are not super difficult tactics. These are not impossible to learn. Just making sure that you have the proper body mechanics, you transfer your weight, cross the line, and change positions each time that you make a weight transition. Um, and these all, these ideas are very, very, very important. Now, um, again, if you wanna learn more about these ideas, and I, I talk uh, much more in depth about this uh, video on my Patreon, um, many more uh, clean ideas uh, in a much more succinct fashion, but without Roberto Duran and, and uh, Bernard Hopkins um, on my Patreon, uh, as well as you know nearly 300 other training videos. Um, I have fighters in my Patreon of all levels, learning all kinds of things from the speed bag, the double in bag, the heavy bag, uh, shadow boxing, um, and uh, even learning how to use the jump rope. Um, one of the most you know, difficult and notoriously valuable tools. Um, and I may be putting out a jump rope video for you guys on YouTube too, but um, uh, the training stuff is usually exclusively for Patreon. Um, however, I may be getting to do some videos with someone that I've been training, um, and I can kind of give you guys a vlog of his training. His name is Theo, um, and I've been working him on the mitts and working him, you know, teaching him the speed bag and the double end bag and um, all that stuff. And maybe you guys, we can do like a one-week once a week video so I can show you guys updates on his technique and his training and how things are going. Um, but it's actually pretty fun. Um, he hasn't been boxing for very long. I think maybe a year. Um, I trained with him a little bit last year, but then we didn't get to train at all. Uh, well, COVID happened and other random stuff and, you know, whatever, whatever. But, um, yeah, it might be kind of cool. But anyway, uh, check out my Patreon. Um, if you're looking for private boxing lessons, if you're looking for, um, uh, personalized film studies of your boxing, of your training, personalized videos um, to help teach you to get to your next level, to fix your technique, to fix um, the things that are, that are the kinks in your kinetic chain, the things that are preventing you from crossing the line, changing positions, and transferring your weight into your opponent's face. Um, so if you're interested in learning these things, uh, learning how to cross the line, um, 
uh, yeah, check out my Patreon. Uh, there's over a hundred members, and you know, it, about two dozen or so uh, that actually send in videos. Um, lots of people ask questions in the in the community, um, but um, uh, lots of videos, lots of sparring, lots of heavy bag, not a lot of speed bag. Um, people, you know, don't not a lot of people have their own quarantine speed bag, but if you do, uh, join it. I got some sick drills for you. Um, but, uh, lots of double end bag, lots of heavy bag work, lots of shadow boxing work. Um, and again, lots of jumping rope. Um, but also all the post fight film studies, the complete full fight film studies go on Patreon. Uh, if you want to check those out. Um, and I try to do them as close to the fight as possible. Um, actually the same night I usually try to do them, um, and get them up. Uh, so if you're interested in the full post fight videos, as well as, um, full fight breakdowns. I think we have like, you know, six or seven videos on Garcia and Spence now. Um, and, uh, we'll be doing the full fight breakdown there. Obviously I'll do like a spoiler on there for YouTube. Um, but, um, but yeah, most of the stuff is going to be on Patreon and that's a fight that I'm really, really, really excited for. Um, also, well, now nah, I'm not going to say also, Oh, and this and this and, uh, and wait, there's more, you know, anyway, guys, um, Let's see. Yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And um, yeah, don't forget to check out my Patreon. And I guess I will be doing a sale this month. Um, so yeah, go check it out. See what it is.